Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So here we go with a collection video. I'm hoping this is going to be of interest. Um, unless you're a collector, um, then possibly a lot of the things that I'm about to show you, you might not have come across. Um, so I hope you like this. Um, I'm going to be showing you a collection of press stills and front of house stills. So I'll just briefly explain what those are. Front of house stills are stills, um, so images uh, that are taken from the movie uh, that were put on the front of cinemas uh, to promote the film back in the 80s and before then, uh, so before internet. Um, so definitely for me, I'm going to show a picture here of the cinema that I used to go to. Um, and uh, you might just, it's not a very good picture, but you might just be able to make out the columns that are going down uh, in between each of the three door entrances there. And those columns had uh, these front of house stills that gave me images of the films that I was about to see. Really, really exciting to go and see these um, because back then uh, you would only see movies advertised in the newspapers or maybe on like Barry Norman's film show or something like that. There weren't any um, you know, social media or, or any of that kind of thing. So yeah, these kinds of images just really gave you a flavour for the film and it was really, really exciting. Um, and then aside from front of house stills, there were what's called press stills, and these came in press kits. Here's an example of a press kit. Uh, so this is for a Robert Duvall and James Earl Jones movie called A Family Thing. Um, so yeah, you get this nice printed material that would give you image of, of the film itself. Uh, and then inside there would be this uh, often several page thick um, printed material that would give you all the production details of the film, all the cast and crew details of those cast and crew members, um, etc. Um, and then includes with it as well a set of images. So often in a set of about eight uh, of these press stills. So these are images from the film um, that the press could then use uh, to uh, in their articles or to advertise the film in their newspapers. Um, so yeah, really, really nice kits, these. Uh, now, when I was young, um, I was just able to, I suppose, just write polite letters to my local cinema managers, and uh, they were kindly able to just let me have a lot of these press kits, posters, uh, etc. Um, but I did also... Um, sometimes go up to London to places like Soho. There was a great shop up there, and so I would buy um, some stills there as well. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, I'll now show you in no particular order um, all the various stills that I have. William Hurt and Gina Davis in The Accidental Tourist. And Kathleen Turner also in The Accidental Tourist. A front of house still of Pulp Fiction. Uh, this is just a reprint of uh, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Errol Flynn. Bruce Willis and Madeleine Stowe in Twelve Monkeys. The great Steve James in American Ninja 2. Mickey Rourke in Angel Heart. John Goodman in Arachnophobia. Jeff Daniels in Arachnophobia. And again... John Goodman again, and Jeff Daniels with the late Julian Sands there in Arachnophobia. Tim Roth in The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover. William Hurt and Ted Danson there in Body Heat. Tom Cruise and Willem Dafoe in Born on the Fourth of July. Annette Benning and Warren Beatty in Bugsy. Great 70s movie this. This is Antonio Fargas in Car Wash. A few more from Car Wash. A film here I've never seen, Change Partners. Apologies, some of these images, it's hard to keep them uh, flat. They do tend to curve. But yeah, anyone seen this film, Change Partners? I've not come across it. Emily Lloyd here in Chicago, Joe and the Showgirl, which also starred Kiefer Sutherland.
Good movie this, I have it on Laserdisc. Kiefer Sutherland again. A nice one there of Emily Lloyd. And Kiefer Sutherland with Patsy Kensit. And there she is again, nice shot. Final one from Chicago Joe and the Showgirl. What a classic. I've got Jack Nicholson in Chinatown. Old one this. This is the 1950s Disney Cinderella. And what a lovely film. Cinema Paradiso. Classic shot that's often used on the cover. Yeah, such a beautiful movie. Tom Cruise, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio in The Colour of Money. And Arnie in Commando. A nice front of house still. Gene Hackman in the classic The Conversation. And again. Final one. Have a nice set uh, of Beverly Hills Cop stills. Eddie Murphy. Get the fuck out of here. And the great Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd, Back to the Future. Crispin Glover. And again with Leia Thompson. Nice moment. And Steve Guttenberg in a film, Bad Medicine. Going back in time a bit now, and this is the 1959 Ben-Hur with Charlton Heston. And again. There's Charlton Heston. And final one from Ben-Hur. Little scene, British film, uh, a Willie Russell adaptation. This is Dancing Through the Dark. Con O'Neill there in Dancing Through the Dark. And final one from Dancing in the Dark, Con O'Neill. Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. And the Jim Jarmusch movie, Down by Law, Tom Waits and Roberto Benigni. Tom Waits and Roberto Benini. Peter McNichol in Dragon Slayer. And again with Sir Alf Richardson. Really fun movie. Unfortunately, no stills of the dragon. Classic bit of Walter Hill. Uh, this is The Driver with Ryan O'Neill and Bruce Dern. And then some colour press stills. Classic moment. Uh, Sean Connery, Matthew Broderick and Dustin Hoffman in Family Business. Sorry for the glare. And there they are without their masks. Michael Douglas and Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction. And Tom Cruise in The Firm. 
Chevy Chase in Fletch. Here he is again with Joe Don Baker. And again with Tim Matheson. And again with Richard Libertini. Sorry, not showing these quite head on, just to try and stop the glare. Kevin Bacon now in Footloose. John Lithgow also in Footloose. Kevin Bacon with Christopher Penn. And again with Laurie Singer. Front of house still here for Die Hard with a Vengeance. A classic subway moment from the French Connection. And Gene Hackman in French Connection 2. Fiddler on the Roof. And James Kahn in Norman Jewison's Rollerball. There's the game itself in Rollerball. Great still, this one. And then with Burt Quook appearing as well. And then there, James Kahn with Ralph Richardson. Okay, I'll wrap it up there for the moment. This will have to be a part one video because I think this is going to go on for a bit. So I've got plenty more to show you. I hope this has been of interest. Please let me know in the comments what you think of these uh, press stills, front of house stills. Uh, do any of you collect these? Do any of you have them? Um, but yeah, leave your comments. I'll see you for part two, hopefully. All the best to you. Bye-bye.